New York to Tokyo in four hours or less. We're going to talk about that right now. So as you know, I only very rarely do a segment that is not directly on AI, but this is one of those things because it is a truly revolutionary breakthrough in progress. And thanks to Future Ride for this article. The article is called Venus Aerospace Aims for Hypersonic with Detonation Ramjet Engine. This really will blow your mind. Last week, Venus Aerospace unveiled its Venus Detonation Ramjet 2000 pound thrust engine, also known as VDR2, marking a major breakthrough in the Houston, Texas based startup's pursuit of high speed flight. How high speed? Check this out. The company's advanced propulsion system is engineered to power vehicles, including drones and aircraft, for traveling vast differences at high altitudes and achieving high Mach speeds with unmatched efficiency. The VDR-2 combines the high thrust and efficiency of a rotating detonation rocket engine which is a new type of rocket engine, we'll hear more about that in a second, with the high-efficiency crews of a ramjet, which has existed in the military space for a long time. This offers a single engine from takeoff to as fast as Mach 6, that is six times the speed of sound. The innovation would go beyond supersonic, meaning faster than the speed of sound, to the hypersonic realm, meaning at least five times faster than the speed of sound, or Mach 5. So many of you probably know that a company called Boom Supersonic is working on the next-gen supersonic commercial aircraft. They already have orders from a bunch of the big airlines, including United and American, and that aircraft is slotted as basically a modern Concorde replacement. So just to give you an idea of the times we're talking about, New York to London right now is five to six hours, depending on wind speed heading east, and six to eight hours heading west because you're flying against the wind. Boom would reduce it to three to four hours heading east and four to five heading west, at least that short. So what does that mean? Well, the boom supersonic revolution means that you could literally fly from New York to Paris, have an early dinner and fly back and only be gone from New York on New York time, maybe eight hours, nine hours, but a day, a normal day. Pretty mind blowing. <laughs> London, even shorter from the West Coast to Tokyo right now, takes can take as long as 12 hours flying west. We're talking about eight hours probably west. And if it's 10 hours heading east, then it's going to drop to seven or eight hours. So major improvement in long haul travel. Now compare it to this. Basically, and I'll, it'll talk more about this in a second, this will decrease that New York to London travel time to an hour. Think about that. An hour to London. A few hours to Tokyo. It's crazy. This engine makes the hypersonic economy a reality, said Dr. Andrew Duggleby, who is one of the co-founders. We are excited to partner with Volantra to achieve this revolution in high-speed flight given their expertise in high-speed air combustion. So Venus is developing the overall engine and ultimately aircraft, but Volantra helps with the combustion part of the engine. They have a shared vision of unlocking the high-speed flight economy in the commercial and defense sectors. We can't wait to dig in, make the first one fly, and ultimately perfect an engine concept that has lived mostly in textbooks but never as a production engine unit. So the first flight of this is near. The VDR-2 will take flight in Venus's hypersonic flight test drone in 2025. One possible application is the Venus Stargazer M4, what the company calls the first hypersonic reusable aircraft that it says 
can make two-hour global transport cost effective. That's two hours to anywhere on the globe is what they're saying. Stargazer will arrive in the 2030s and will ascend from a central airport, leveraging the RDRE ramjet to accelerate from taxi to cruise speeds at of Mach 4 at 110,000 feet. So this is going to be epic. You're going to be able to well see the curvature of the Earth from this altitude. With a top capable speed of Mach 9. So the other co-founder is Sarah Duggleby, who goes by the name Sassy. So it's a husband-wife team. Venture-backed Venus Aerospace has raised $70 million so far from key investors like Airbus Ventures and Prime Movers Lab. So the major, one of the two major aircraft manufacturers is not already investing in this thing for obvious reasons. It's basically a dual-use hypersonic technology, dual-use meaning commercial aviation and military applications. Mach 9 speed will make it a one-hour global transportation system to connect the world and make it safer. One hour to anywhere on the globe at Mach 9. In March, Venus announced that it achieved all the engine milestones and successfully flew its inaugural supersonic drone in February. So they basically tested their entire testing infrastructure and everything worked. Using an air-launched platform and a rocket with wing configuration allows us to cheaply and quickly get to the minimum viable test of our RDRE as a hypersonic engine, added the CEO Sassy Duggleby. Up next is RDRE flight, that's the rocket engine part as opposed to the ramjet part, and ultimately hypersonic flight. So they've already tested the ramjet part. Next, they test the rocket part. They limit these tests to subsonic, but then over time, they step, will step it up to supersonic, which is up to Mach 4, and then hypersonic Mark 5 Plus. Just before the drone test, the company announced it had achieved the first long-duration engine test of the RDRE in partnership with DARPA, the U.S. Defense Department's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, which has helped develop other novel technologies like self-driving. Venus has already been awarded contracts by several U.S. government agencies to accelerate the development and potential transition of its RDRE technology for hypersonic and space missions, so they're also working with NASA on space applications. RDREs theoretically can achieve an additional 15% efficiency over traditional rocket engines, which directly leads to reduced propellant, well more efficient. 15% is a huge efficiency gain in the rocket engine world. The partnership with NASA is accelerating Venus's R&D, research and development. NASA is considering using RDREs for in-space applications such as lunar and Martian landers, in-space operations and logistics, and deep space missions, think Mars. Venus and NASA are each developing RDRE engines in parallel with each other, and NASA is helping fund the Venus effort and buying parts for its own development effort. The two will test different propellant combinations to find the most efficient. So I was stunned when I read this article. My viewers know that Elon Musk a few years ago started talking about Starship providing one-hour global travel, but now here's a whole other path. But even before that, at Mach 4, and even then we're talking about two-hour global transportation. So this is stunning. So let's set the table quickly on this. Conventional jet travel takes a very long time. The world's Longest plane route currently is Newark, New Jersey Airport to Singapore nonstop, which is 16 to 18 hours depending on flight direction. That same trip at supersonic would be reduced in half instead of 16 to 18 hours. 
it would be eight to nine hours. And then in the hypersonic world, that would be reduced to about four hours, and then two hours, and then an hour. Completely world-changing, which is why I decided to do this video. Now, this will take time, probably 12 years to do that. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this episode, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. Your financial support helps us grow the channel more quickly. Please note that going forward, episodes like this that are novel breakthroughs, but not AI related, will not be done as videos. They'll be done as posts with the first one of those coming up this week, but world changing stuff with the videos being limited to AI and your career going forward. So look for a rebrand of the channel starting next week with even more emphasis on your career and AI's impact on it. So thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time. Take care. Bye.